and this is Rasmus. And Rasmus has a product from Kubo that he's going to show us that involves teaching kids at a young age how to program. Yeah. So what are we looking at? So we are looking at Kubo. It's a small educational robot that we created to teach children about programming. Okay. So the way it works is that you have a body and a head, and you put those two together, and you can put them on one of the tiles, and it will execute whatever command is on the tile. So in that way, the children can easily start working with the system and start learning about how the robot and the tiles interact with each other. Very nice. So the next step they can do is to make an actual program for the robot. Okay. Anything in between these two blue tiles will be uh, read by the robot when it drives over okay. and be uh, remembered as a function. So now the robot knows that going straight and going left is a part of the blue function and it can now be executed when I put it up here. So now the robot so now will go. That back. Exactly. So this is actually a small yeah, thanks. It's, it's a small limitation. Uh, Can they just go on forever with their programming, or just yeah, so, uh, a certain amount of squares? So there are different uh, complexity levels. You could put a, a long series or sequence of squares. You could put up to 50 or something like that. Or you could make some. Uh, this is a loop functionality. So you could put a loop and repeat and a, 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 a tile a number of times. Okay. To make so what it more are we complex. At here in terms of what, is it, what exactly is it uh, looping through here? Yeah, so uh, this is a function that uh, starts off by setting the speed of the robot to 10 out of 10. We have okay. different parameters that could be exchanged. You could uh, make it speed 1. Then uh, it makes a loop that repeats this tile, which is going straight, 9 times. Okay, so, so when, when I put you record this method, it's yeah. going to go forward nine times at yeah. the speed of ten. Exactly. I already recorded it. I can try playing it. So now when I put it here, it will start going straight nine times. Very cool. So these are actually small programs that we created for the robot without the use of a tablet or computer. So it's purely physical, it's tangible, and it's really easy for the children to work with and to understand what's so going on. How is it reading the cards? Is there a light, like some kind of a camera underneath it? Or? Yeah, so inside the robot there's an uh, RFID sensor okay. that uh, reads these uh, RFID tags, so okay. there's a tag in each of the tiles. Yeah, that's so smart. that's how it works. And what do we have uh, with this package right here? Yeah, so we are working with different uh, subject packages. We have a coding subject package and we have a spelling subject package. The spelling subject package consists of uh, the letters of the alphabet and uh, different uh, images. So this is an image of an apple. And when I put the robot up here, it will start reading the letters that follows. And when it sees a letter that is placed incorrectly, it will move away from the word at the letter that is placed wrong. So now the children know that this is uh, the incorrect way to spell and they have to fix that uh, specific letter. Good. So not yeah. only are you teaching kids how to program, but you're teaching them how to spell and everything else. So exactly. Sure all using the same gadget. Yeah, so we're working with different uh, subject packages, as I said. We're also working with a music package, will, which will come later, so you can compose your sequence. Oh, own now sequence that's really program. nice. Yeah. Okay. And uh, is, when is, in terms of availability of this product, is it on the market yet? Is it coming in the future? Yeah, so we are launching our Indiegogo uh, crowdfunding campaign on the 11th of January, so that's next week, and that will yeah. be the first time it's available for purchase. Perfect. Yeah. All right. And what's the price point? You think when it hits the market? So, so uh, for, uh, for the robot and a set of uh, coding tiles, it will be 169 US dollars. Okay, and just the programming tiles. So that so will be the basic programming tiles, and then there will be add-on for advanced programming, and there will be another subject package for uh, and everything yeah. else. Yeah. Okay, and where can people find out about this? Is it Kubo, like Kubo, does Kubo have a specific website? Or is so it, just uh, it will be uh, kubo-robot.com. Kubo-robot.com. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and so check that out and uh, learn more about this, or you can also go to plcnetwork.net, where we'll follow up on this a little bit more later. Yeah. Rasmus. Nice to meet you. Absolute pleasure. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.